that uh, we're going to be following what happened yesterday uh, in major cities in the country, talking about uh, the protest as embarked upon by members of the Nigeria Labour Congress. Uh, you know, to kind of uh, re-echo uh, the call that members of ASU have been made for quite some time now. Now, it all started February 14th of this year when members of ASU have to uh, recall back uh, the agreement that uh, you know, it was said that they risked with uh, the federal government on how to improve uh, staff salaries and uh, improve universities in the country. And uh, it's been on for quite uh, over five months now. Uh, only yesterday, uh, the NSC came out and uh, they gave their solidari solidarity protest uh, to further drive home the issue. Now, uh, that is not even bad enough. What seems to be looming now is another, another major strike because uh, the NSC uh, president yesterday, Waba Ayuba, uh, said that uh, if at the end of uh, today's uh, protest, try, protest, if the federal government does not listen, then of course uh, the NSC won't have any other option than to embark on a fruitless strike. And if the NSC embarks on strike, we, we know the implications of it. It shows that uh, major activities in the country uh, may just be shut down. Well, we are so privileged to have uh, the former chairman of ASU, uh, Unibank chapter, Professor Julius Iyasere here with us, who was uh, on the streets yesterday protesting, and he has also told us that when he leaves here today, he's going to go back uh, to the streets uh, to protest. Professor, you're welcome to uh, this uh, program. Yeah, thank you for having me. Good you're, morning, viewers. You're welcome. Now, uh, to let you know that uh, subsequently, we're going to have members of the NSC and also members of uh, the government so that uh, they can also bear their minds on some of the issues that we are going to be talking here. Now, I went through some of uh, the reactions uh, trailing the protests uh, yesterday. And, uh, you know, I, 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 there was one major, uh, you know, statement that uh, caught my attention, that federal government reached an agreement with ASU, only that that agreement was not signed. I mean, somebody reaches an agreement with you and the agreement was not signed, and you allow the person to go. So what is really going on with ASU and federal government? I, I know this is a question we've been asking all along, and, uh, you know, but what, what's really going on? And the issue that is uh, on has become that of a husband and wife, because <laughs> we will give it to government that they are the husband, because they are the, the uh, at least the custodians of the university, they are the proprietor, as it were, of public universities in Nigeria. So the, it is a, a, a long the story, is, you know, is of that of Methuselah. Let me put it that way, because it is beyond, we all, we all are aware in this country, it's become monotonous talking about the same issues. If you remember, uh, we have posited here before, that uh, the situation in the university had continued to degenerate the apparatus for quality deliv delivery in the universities, both human and material, have degenerated in the university. And of course, as the owners of the universities, a union, uh, so, or most of the unions on campus, have called out to government to say, these are what we are experiencing. We cannot continue to beat our chest to say we are bringing out the best of products. If you are a manufacturer, for instance, and you notice that uh, your contents are going down, the next thing you must do is to adjust so that you can meet the standard. And so, for our children, for graduates from the university to be able to compete favorably, as we have come out to tell government that something has to be done. And this continued from uh, the, the, the 1990s until 2006, we were able to get government to come to a negotiating table. That is after they have also put committee in place mm. that we represent them at the negotiating table. And also have put our own committee in place and negotiation continues from 2000, starting in 2009. That is after us who had written about 450 letters. Some replied to, some at all were not replied to. And then that negotiation then was led by the late Gamalia on Nassau Day, and then by 2009, they were able, they agreed to now, they finished the negotiation, and then everybody had to put a pen to paper in terms of agreeing by signing all that. Happened. And then one of the issues then was that 
after three years, you return back to negotiating table to now say, okay, this is how I have been affected by the agreements we reached in 2009. But for me to say here that even the agreement was reached in, that was reached in 2009 were not honored. Okay. In some of the components were the one that were honored, some not. Mm. And now, so, now, let me not belabor you so much, yeah. uh, so go through the, the agreements and all that. Okay. Now, uh, at a point, uh, we heard when uh, the federal government came and told uh, that uh, the, uh, the things that ASU is asking for are unrealistic. Now, the question, where do we find that meeting point? You are making demands. And the person who is supposed to give you the demands is saying that, hey, these things are unrealistic. So where do we meet? Excuse me, sir. When did government come out to say that they were unrealistic? You sent people out, representatives of government. By May 2021, led by Jubri of from government side, they had agreed that XYZ is what government can do to meet ASU with our demands. We waited since then and threatened by last year, December, that we are not hearing anything after all the agreement that, that all the negotiations that were, were concluded by uh, May 2021. We threatened that by December we are going to go back on strike. Along the line, people prevailed and said, okay, let's, let's, let's watch. Let's still give government some time and all that. And then by uh, uh, February this year, we had to return back to the trenches because we're not hearing from, from government. But was there a way to push this demand instead of going on strike? Is there any other <clears throat> route to take? That is what we've been asking people. Mm -hmm. We are asking, there are, in collective bargaining, okay. you have consultations. Those are like letters. Asu, there's no one higher mighty around government in this country that Asu did not speak to. Okay. Mm. There is no, yes, about a demand. There is no letter that was not written. Mm. You, after that, you, you, we, we passed on threats and all that. Strike is the last weapon. Okay. And it appeared that Nigerian government rising have refused to remove the coat of military where everything must be by force. Mm. So, as we had used all within her in terms of persuasion to get government to attend to the issues of the Nigerian tertiary education. Okay. Now, let, let's pause you there. We have a report that uh, you probably saw uh, the visual a while ago. Uh, that uh, report was actually made yesterday uh, by, the pro by the protesters, uh, members of uh, the NSA. So let's quickly watch uh, that uh, so that uh, uh, we'll further have uh, uh, basics for this uh, discussion this morning. So let's see that uh, protest of yesterday. protest which is being done across the 36 states including Abuja is at the instance of the NLC president in solidarity with ASU which has been on strike for the past five months. The academic staff union of universities had for several months initiated different avenues to resolve the lingering crisis with the federal government or to no avail as several meetings with government ended in deadlock. Following the fruitlessness of the negotiations, the national leadership of the Nigerian Labour Congress decided in June to solidarize with the striking lecturers and action which have left the students at home for five months. The NLC members, which cut across different affiliate unions, carried placards with various inscriptions as they participated in the protests. Edo State Chairman of NLC, Comrade Odion Olaye, and some other leaders of affiliate unions said the nationwide protest was to prevail on the federal government to urgently attend to the demands of the university workers. They said it saddened them for students to be forgotten at home owing to the strike, thereby hindering and delaying their academic pursuits. We are here to solicit 
the governor assistant to join other governors to please talk with Mr. President to settle this legal issue. They have been telling us, I will, I will. This very agreement we are talking about was entered into 2009. See, today none has been implemented. Ambrosali University, union activities are presently suspended. The Nigerian worker can actually reclaim this country and reposition it for the good of the people of this country. That is what we are out today to do. By the time we finish this protest, the federal government will not have any option than to bring our children back to school. Receiving the protesters at Government House, Governor Godwin Obaseki, represented by his Chief of Staff, Osag Yoha, expressed sadness that the federal government was yet to address the demands of the lecturers five months into the strike. He however expressed belief that, with the intervention of the NSC through the nationwide protest, the federal government will resolve the lingering issue. I want to assure you that with, the, with this move that the NSC and all of you have made today, this is a crime, it's a letter that has gone to the 36 states of us. The protest, according to the national leadership of NSC, is slated for two days. A Fosa Wangwe reporting. Thank you so much. Uh, the program stay here this morning on ITV. Now, you saw members of uh, civil society organizations uh, yesterday, and of course, uh, members of uh, the NSC, Edo State, as uh, uh, put together by. Uh, Mr. Odion Olaye there, protesting to government house. Now, uh, we still have the former chairman of ASU, you know, the chapter here, Professor, uh, uh, Professor Iyasere here. Now, just like what we're trying to explain backstage, uh, that uh, this position of the NSC is perhaps coming uh, too late. Uh, this strike has been on for more than five months now. Yeah. One would have expected that as an affiliate body, ASU is part of NSC. NSC would have probably come up before now uh, so that to further drive uh, the point home. Well, uh, for reasons best known to the leadership of NSC uh, in Nigeria, because to so many of us, we think that this is overdue, it's overdelayed, because uh, we subscribe to NSC. Like you have said, we are an affiliate of uh, NSC in, in the country. Uh, to put it succinctly, ASU uh, most times, uh, most times uh, conduct uh, NSC elections and all that. We are very close. So if that uh, it is now that they are coming out is uh, leave some, you know, hazy uh, and and but, and but the and president then, actually asked, yeah. they asked, they asked NLC to hold them, that he has actually told them to like, I'll give you two weeks to look into this matter. Don't you think they would have adhered to that two weeks ultimatum? That the, 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 president. The, the president, president. yes. Yeah, can, if, 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 you know, if, talk has become very, very cheap in Nigeria. Okay. Why is the president just waking up within the two weeks? Something that has been on for years. Like, you know, you have told me to stop the history of that. You know how many times we have come here to talk about memoranda of understanding. After that, we, 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 we climax at memoranda of action and all that. And you have a sitting president, and all these are going on, and then no actions are taken on the side of government and all that. And so they are not coming in two weeks. Are you just this? See, I said last year, May, an agreement was reached, and nothing happened. We were waiting for government. Then it came after ASU strike. In February, another committee of government was put in place, led by an uh, eminent professor, Mary, Professor Emeritus Nimi Briggs. He led government team to the negotiating table. And after all of that, we are now hearing labor minister, who is supposed to be a conciliator, uh, Dr. Ngige, or Senator Ngige, now saying all manners and all that. And you will, you will wonder, what is happening here? Does it mean is that our government, they are not together? I don't, are they not working in synergy? That one arm of government will come to discuss with us, one another will be criticizing the discussions that went on? You sent these people. We reached an agreement. They are supposed to have taken the documents of the agreement back to government. What we are supposed to do there is to peruse. Look at it. 
and then says, okay, you did this on behalf of government, we are agreeing with this, or we are not agreeing with this, and all that, and all that. The agreement that was got this time went through a, a furnace mm. of all agents of government being represented at the panel. People from salaries and wages need that. That have to do with, you know, payment platform. People from Accountant General's office, all. Yeah. We are all in attendance. Yeah, Professor, remember yes. when we started this uh, talk this morning, I, I said that the claim is that federal government, the claim you as is making is that the federal government reached an agreement. But we understand that that agreement was never signed. <laughs> that's that's, no. that's the, the issue now. You know, what, we are saying, we, he, he, what we are saying is this. The committee led by Nimi Briggs for government, put in place by government, and the people from different agents, MDAs of government, present, reach, let me, okay, let me not use agreement, reach a decision okay. with ASU. ASU brought her proposal. This is what we are re demanding this time. Government said no. ASU now said, okay, let us have your own. If I can tell you even very quietly, there, are, there were some components that ASU and government said no. We don't want after now, that strike will return back. Mm. Let's look at this, looking at the inflationary pressures and all that. Why not let us look at this, look at this, look at this. And I should say, okay, we go by your own proposal. Okay. It is now, after the, all of that, with all of them meeting, in the meeting, they now took the documents back to, to government, to presidency. And all we're waiting for was now that, yes, presidency, they have looked at the agreement. There are still some areas that we may not be able to attend to. So ultimately, Is there nothing that asks you, so you can do about this and yeah, all Professor, that? Because of time now. So ultimately now, the thing is on the table of the president. Yes. And so why don't ASU be more patient uh, with the president so that uh, our students oh can God. go back to work? You know how many... to school. Oh, students should go back before the agreement? No, since the agreement is already... There's something before the presidency now. It probably... So we should not go to, back to work? No, I'm just... I'm Have just you, do you know that this is a very, very insincere government? The same president sitting there now said in 2014 yeah, that, but, wait, let me finish this, yeah. that if you can have a government who that will continue to keep students at home mm. and all that, not respond to demands of the university, that that government must be irresponsible. Mm. If you made that statement as of 2014 and then you are now sitting as president of Nigeria, and then you have seen irresponsible and insincere acts coming. It means, I, I don't want to complain. Anyway, anyway me, Professor, me, Professor, me. just one minute. Now, let us also look at ASU because uh, uh, for some persons, ASU uh, may also not be sincere in the sense that ASU, let me let, let me now. hear you. ASU is, is the big umbrella body that yes. encompasses uh, lecturers in universities in the country. Yes. Now, as we speak now, we understand that uh, some uh, uh, state governments, they don't have issues with their lecturers. Take, for example, state-owned universities. So when we begin to, I think we should begin to uh, call spade a spade this time. When we begin to look at the big umbrella. You are making a answer. very, very big mistake. Maybe mm -hmm. you are talking from an uninformed. No, no not really. Informed, no. Wait, now are we clear? Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, informed well, direction no. of what, what unionism is. Mm -hmm. When you subscribe to a union, number one is that you, list, you take directive from your national body. That is number one. Mm. Number two is that if you go to any state university, even colleges of education, check all the infrastructure that are existing there, whether there is now, anyone. Professor, wait, the now, you say, ask how come initially no, when this strike started, in we, had, we had state universities that were not part of this ASU strike. Excuse me, why shouldn't state university be part of the strike? Look, I'm telling you, there are uh, in all the universities. Apart from, uh, apart from that, I'm saying go to any of the state universities or colleges of education and not to find out whether 
any building is standing without tech fund. Is tech fund uh, is tech fund state or federal? Find out now how many buildings in our AAUE here. How many of them that is not uh, this thing? And however, are the salaries in state universities different from what you have? From the public uh, federal university. Yeah, but how come we didn't have members of this ASU at state universities reacting until the federal ASU now came up uh, to say we have to go on strike? I told you now yeah. that AAUE, mm. Ekpoma here, had procured uh, somehow an approval to proceed on a local strike. That is what we call it. Because if you have something now on to us that is going on in the in a private university, in a, in a university. You can come to ASU floor because ASU will not just permit you to go on strike. You have to show reasons, even after also writing to the leadership of ASU. Mm. And then it will now be discussed, discussed on the floor of ASU before an approval is given to you. You don't just come and say you want to go on strike. No, the more show reason. That hey, you had that. You have for local strikes and all that. Mm. One another point is that ASU, one of the negotiations ASU is going on, is also doing with government, is that you cannot go on ending establishing universities as a constituency project. That is what many state governors, anyone that comes on board, must establish a university in his own hometown. Look at all those states. You know how many uh, uh, state universities you have in Ondo State? Have they funded the existing one? Mm. If you come here now, I hope you know how many. Ekoba is uh, at home. You have another one erected at Yamo. A mm. uh, law before federal government, was supposed to be, uh, was, have been named a federal university. The university, yeah. Igwari and he crushed. It's supposed to be there. Do you understand? And we are hoping that leadership of this state will wake up one day from one side of the bed and decide to uh, establish another one again. Well, so well, so well, that is what we University is part of the problem we have. You say? Having more um, universities. Obviously. Part of the problem we have. Obviously. When the existing obviously. ones have not been taken care yes, of. Yes. Obviously. Anyway, uh, Professor, I can understand your emotions now. So I, I can understand. But you but, see but, but, why but state universities are part yeah. of the federal uh, strike? Yeah, Professor, let's uh, let the viewers call into uh, this uh, program this morning. Yes, uh, 0708365120 uh, uh, is the number. 0708365120. 0708365120. One three two zero is the number. So please, let's have uh, your contributions because uh, the way forward is what we are looking at now. Uh, we pray that uh, it doesn't escalate. Uh, Labour has uh, given their uh, ultimate on that. If uh, the federal government does not uh, respond to ASU, that they may have to go on strike, and that's a big threat, you know, to uh, our country. All right. So zero eight one zero eight zero seven zero. I beg your pardon. Zero seven zero eight three six five one three two zero is the number. So you call uh, so that we can have uh, your reactions. Now, Professor, uh, let's begin to look at solutions now because uh, whether we like it or not, uh, we must have solutions. So how do we begin to uh, bring our solutions in all of all this? Okay, uh, we ASU members have. Uh, we have arrived at a solution in our own case. Okay. We are Tazi drivers now. <laughs> some of our members are frying Akara. <laughs> and, and some of your so members many, are not at home. They are, they are, they've, they've gone outside the country um, so many, making, making dollars so and many, making pounds. So many, so many who have been able to uh, 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 go through Libya mm. uh, outside the country mm. and all that because of the level by since February uh, they've stopped our salaries and they thought we would die. Okay. But, oh, but Tango, you are surviving. Femi yes. Palana said something. Yes. He said that. Uh, Hello. Federal government. Just one okay. Hello. Yeah, good morning. Yes, good morning. Good morning. Nice to have you on the program. Yeah, well, this is Sonny for Network All right, Sonny. Nice to have you. Good morning, Professor. Thank you very much, my brother. I'm uh, very sure that uh, uh, this uh, generation will not, will not forget you for what you are doing uh, in the future institution in Nigeria. Thank you very much, sir. 
Uh, at any time, uh, search is going on. I'm not very worried because of what happened to our so going to Lagos, uh, I think I can negotiate. Yes. So every time I'm seeing that, I'm very concerned. I keep begging that, so please don't travel. Let's see in our local place and see how we can negotiate. Yes. Uh, Mr. Albert, I'm sure you are this, uh, you're already becoming a stakeholder in this area. <laughs> Let's speak to the federal government. Yeah. Because if I was, uh, I, I am glad that I've been with you on the show on Wednesday about uh, this issue with the ASU, issue with strike and all that. And uh, I'm sure your ears is already full and your archive is with the whole of information. Yeah, so Let's speak with our federal government. Is what we have. Let's ask what for. It's something that they approve for, for ASU. It is something that they are proved, not that they are, they are saying give it to us. Now, it is time to give it to them. One of the things we are facing is that uh, ASU does not want to shift ground. But if you look at, let's look at from, 90, uh, from 2019, all the MOUs that have been signed have been implemented. Don't also forget that they go to the place where the federal government said they are going to be raising about 200 million. That one has not been implemented. All of the previous I have gone to a place like you need it. Do you know what I was going to say? So when I saw the environment, a student standing on the, by the window, that's why I went to public school. I didn't want to go to public school. I was forced to go. So let's see if we can We can actually do what is done. Because if we are having an issue with security, we are having a general issue, and we can deal with it. This is something that we can deal with. You don't need uh, ammunition to deal with this issue. All you need is, what do you think we can do in this area to ensure that that is better for the citizens? Because everybody cannot say that you know, see. So let's deal with the federal government. So see what they can do. A country where a uh, position that has delivered 100 million to buy for cannot take care of the house and the student. Okay. Don't you think you are making much of the whole thing? Okay. Uh, all, right, all right, thank you, uh, Sonny, uh, from Airport to the media point. Now, uh, the whole you, thing, you yeah, saying, made this point. Yeah. You are saying solution. Mm, solution the solution is this. Is the document negotiated is with government. And tend to it. They then return back to the table mm. and say, We can do this, we can't do this, we can't do this. Not that the next thing we are expecting something from, from uh, uh, the presidency, then somebody, uh, a conciliator, is saying something different. Yeah, wait, just one minute. Hello. Hello, good morning. Yeah, hello, good morning. Yeah, are you hearing me? Yes, I can hear you loud and clear. Okay, uh, Professor, I want to uh, personally thank you for everything you are doing concerning the education system in Nigeria. Okay. Uh, it's been very difficult to come out strong in this country to say the truth as it is. You know, Professor, what you are doing is been difficult. I think it's not just there, our day has to be presented. I feel that uh, there will be some problem on the part of us. We have to realize that uh, important uh, situations like this require to make some measures to be up in this country. And that is what you are doing. I want to thank you for the effort of the strike. Because if you look at the security situation in this country, Please smell for the strike, maybe they would have been going to the same institution to kidnap our dear lecturers. So, with we don't have to to the strike, I, I want to take the first thing is that. So, because a lot of things are very, very down in this country right now. So, I like the major, I like what you are doing. If, let, let us say that all of us should learn too much, we can solve this one. We've already started it. We must not go back to school until they do all the required the Thank you, sir. All right. I, I guess he's a student. Number one, yeah, that government must do. Mm. Increase budget to education from 5.4, the worst in the world, from 5.4. Ghana is doing between 16 to 20. Mm. Rwanda is doing 20. South Africa is doing between 16 to 20. Nigeria is in 5.4. Jonathan's government did around 7 or 8. Government have returned back. Somebody need to take our president to a classroom to teach the importance of education because he asked the question, what is the GDP that education is contributing uh, to Nigeria? Yeah. And then that was, that was shameful about because no country is greater than her level of, of education. education. This same insecurity that is happening. 
if those people who are carrying those arms and ammunition have educated minds, they won't do what they are All right, doing. so Prince, I'll leave you to ask the next question now so that uh, we'll wrap it up. You, you've got something to say. All right, it's okay. Femi Falada was saying that uh, money got it from looters should be used to settle us. <laughs> now, that's because maybe they feel, some people feel, the federal government doesn't have the financial capacity yet to take care of your demands. What's your take on that? Father uh, don't said that, that be, not because government does not have the money. Mm. You have a social responsibility to the people. Education should be number one. Head. Well, on, on, on a more serious then, professor. But people are looting yeah. 109 billion naira this week, last week. Mm. Somebody was, you know, arranged for that amount of money. Now, now Some, pro oh, Professor, oh. I, I, just like what we said a while ago, we understand your emotions. Now, let's look at it as we wrap up finally. Uh, in all of all this, yes. uh, the major issue seems to be with the IPPIS and uh, the UTAS. If the federal government say, okay, you can have uh, your IPPIS now, no, that's UTAS. what UTAS, that was what you are clamoring for. Yes. Do you think uh, this problem would have been halfway solved? For UTAS, yeah. payment platform, yes, it's shameful. To so, domicile your payment platform no, the with question another I'm, country. The, the question I'm asking, yes. if federal government says, okay, the way you want to have your payment to come, let it be, mm. uh, will ASU go back to work? You see, except you want ASU in the next one or two years to return back on strike. Let them attend to, I hope you know what salaries, I'm a professor here, mm. I'm not ashamed to say it. Mm. My salary is barely above 300000 mm. I'm not ashamed. I've been saying it. I've put my pay slip here before. Mm. It's barely that. I, my younger brother saw it one day who got job where I was already working. I he started crying. <laughs> he works in the bank and all that. He, he, just imagine what that, and then think of what. There are other MDAs. Is it not the Chief Justice of the Federation, the other than that say, who wants to earn 10 million naira a month? All right, so if your salary is improved upon, will you go back to work? Well, we'll go back. So if that's, a, that's the issue. If the, if the, 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 the yeah, conditions are met. Yeah, now we're talking about the conditions. What are the now? conditions? The conditions you talked about, are poor funding of uh, education. Yes. Now, for most people, the main cross mm. of your protest seems to be on your salary. That's, that's the issue. That, that's the question. It's not the cross. If we have our salary and we don't have. Uh, uh, instrument to work, then you have not reached. See, the university is, as a lecturer, you have uh, this responsibility on employment. That is a uh, community development, research, and then teaching. Hmm. We must, we should have materials to do all of this. Do you understand? Hmm. Is it right? He said just now, is it right that you are teaching a classroom? You know, they will have what we call 500 lecture theater in Uniben. Do you understand? And now, because we are in sympathy with government, you have over 3,005 at the time in such classroom of 500. And you find children, everybody milling around outside, even where you are supposed to put your, 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 your chalk, I mean, your, your pen and all that, your writing materials, people milling around. Do you understand? And you know what? We struggle now. We buy public address system and all that. There is no, in this time and age, you go to other clients, there's what they call goggle board. Now, it's not what you want to illustrate some teachings. If, for instance, I want to show a rubber plantation, mm. where you can get rubber. I just click on the board, you see a rubber plantation, the children see it, Montessori education. All right, so, so, the, the, so the attention... Well, we don't have yeah, any of this. Okay, so when you have all this, in addition to your salary, you go back to work. Yes. All right, thank you, uh, Professor uh, Julius Iasele, uh, the former ASU chairman, Unibank chapter, for finding time to come on the show today. So we understand that the protest uh, is uh, going back to Abuja now for today. It's not going to be in major uh, cities, just like the way it happened yesterday. And uh, we hope and pray that... Uh, uh, NSE doesn't go on strike as a result of uh, the current uh, going uh, strike by ASU. A very big thank you one more time, Professor, for finding time to come on the show. Thank you. All right, so me. we'll join uh, I know now on the sports segments on the program uh, this morning on ITV. Please stay tuned.